Restricted stock units, or RSUs as they're commonly referred to, have become a lot more prevalent in recent years in comparison to stock options because they're just a little bit more straightforward. But just because they're a little bit easier to understand doesn't mean that we still don't see mistakes made with them. And that's why we wanted to put together this video to show you how they work and some mistakes you probably want to avoid. My name is Michael McKelvey, and I'm a certified financial planner with Mariner Wealth Advisors. And we get a lot of questions on RSUs, probably because they are so common. And we see a lot of mistakes made with them. We see people maybe get surprised by the taxes that might come with them, or at least just be curious, hey, what should I be doing with these RSUs? So we want to put this video together for you. If you're new to the channel, as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along for more content from industry professionals here at Mariner Wealth Advisors. And if you'd like a guide in this complicated process, you can schedule a complimentary consultation at any point in time by clicking the link down in the description. Let's jump into it. So one of the first mistakes that we see with RSUs is a misunderstanding of the taxes. So as these RSUs vest, you have to pay income taxes and the company has to withhold a certain amount of income taxes and the automatic opt-in rate is typically 22% from a federal bracket standpoint, which works if you're in the 22% bracket, except many equity-based employees are in a higher tax bracket, which means you might have a surprise come April 15th. You gotta come up with more taxes you have to pay because you didn't withhold enough money for taxes as these RSUs vested, especially if you've had a large jump in the employer stock price. So you want to have an understanding how much is being withheld and whether or not that aligns with your situation. So some ways to combat this, you may be able to stockpile some deductions to help fight that big tax liability you'll have if you have a huge RSU vesting or large RSU vesting year. Yeah, this is something that we always help our clients out with because it's better to have an idea what's coming than to be surprised by it. And there might be some tax plays that you can make to help reduce this tax liability if you have a large RSU year. The second large mistake that many of our advisors see with RSUs is over concentration. As the RSUs vest, well, you're building up a pile of company stock. And pretty soon you could have 40, 50, 60% of your net worth tied to the same company that your future income earning potential is coming from. That's a lot of concentration might not be in your best interest. And I often see intuition, the feels start to set in here, right? So, well, you know, we were at 78 six months ago, so I feel like we should wait until we get back to 78. Well, I feel like we should wait until we get to 80 because I just saw projections and I feel pretty good about where our company is headed. Now, intuition is not a bad thing, but unfortunately it feels just as good when it's right as it does when it's wrong. Having both your income and a large chunk of your net worth tied to one company is likely an uncompensated risk. And many employees are reminded of this when we have stock market declines and maybe their growth company is also experiencing some form of a decline. So income maybe comes down a little bit as well. So. This was likely an uncompensated risk. And for that reason, it's a mistake we often see as they vest, people stockpile these RSUs. They aren't really sure what to do. The feel set in and mistakes can happen. They can hold on too long, build up too big of a position and just build this uncompensated risk that doesn't otherwise need to be there. But understandably, uh, there's a sense of paralysis here. How much should I sell and why? What are the tax consequences of making that sale? After I make that sale, what should I diversify away into? You may fully understand that you do need better diversification, but you can be paralyzed because you just don't know what you should diversify away into. And that's where we can help. Not only will we provide an equity compensation report on your company stock and RSUs, but because we are a full service firm with CFPs, CPAs, and estate planning attorneys, we'll consider the entirety of your financial plan. So feel free to click the link to schedule a complimentary consultation with one of our advisors here at Mariner Wealth Advisors. Hope you found this video helpful. Take care.